Oh man, it was a roller coaster, bro. It was uh, something I had never experienced before, basketball-wise. Just um, you know, going through a lot of adversity as a freshman, um, thinking uh, a lot of stuff was going to be different. Um, you know, just kind of uh, put a lot more stuff into perspective for me. You know, I didn't play freshman year; played maybe three minutes a game. Um, after all that high school hype, it kind of all died down and. It's just really hard to kind of pick it back up. Senior year came around, and it was you know finally my team, and I was able to, to hoop back to you know how it was in high school. But um, you know I just didn't get to showcase enough as a senior. You know push my my NBA dreams forward, uh, and so you know that was kind of a tough pill to swallow. But now I played a year and a half overseas, played uh, half the year in the D League, and you know it's it's all about just opportunity and, and not giving up, and you know just keep striving for greatness. And that's you know how I've always been taught, and that's how I've always you know I've always wanted to be that person when someone asks me, someone talks to me, someone even looks back on my journey. It's like, yeah, he did persevere. He was a resilient person. He didn't, you know, give up. So I actually have an opportunity um, to go to training camp with Orlando now. Uh, I know I'm good enough. Like I said, it's just a matter of opportunity. And, you know, I finally got my foot in the door. So uh, it's an exciting time, man. I'm, I'm excited. I leave on Tuesday. Yeah, just got to, you know, got to go prove myself once more. What's up, y'all? It's Gabe York. Just want to show y'all what I've been up to these last couple of years. About to go get this workout. Right. That's what I'm saying. When you came and showed us like on your camera at Islands that night, that's when I was like, oh shit, like this is a dunk. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? I got I got number one on uh, ESPN for that dunk. I was nominated top three for that year. That's when like Instagram was barely or barely getting started, or like a year in or something, so Facebook was still like the big thing. Yeah. Like I had people, I had I think 100 Facebook messages after that video was posted that literally put RIP whatever that kid's name was. Like they found his name and legitimately tagged him, tagged him and 100 people put it. It was crazy, bro. So we try to get uh, two workouts a day. They vary daily. Uh, we try to come into the gym with just an open mind. Today we're just going to focus on breaking down the four main spots of the court, two corners, two wings, different type of shots. So it's going to be more of a focus day. Definitely going to get our work in, but saving the night workout for more guard oriented stuff, a lot of ball handling, game situation kind of things. So today we're just going to see what Gabe does best and that's shoot the ball. This is the routine that Gabe did when he was in Germany. So it kind of became his, just every day when he walks in the gym, just has the same routine, warms up. So like I said, today's just going to be shooting all that soreness out. We lifted earlier, so it's going to be just more of a focus day. So I'm going to be angled already. So I just want right pivot foot. Boom, hard reach. Boom. Let's go opposite to a baseline jumper. It'll be left. One, reach. Hit, jumper. Boom. Give me that. Breathe, 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 breathe. Exhale. That is boom. What are you thinking? Call it. I think that's good. I say get back in the night, refresh it. Yeah, yeah. We'll go hard at night and get some food. Um, I think we're good. Yo, just got done working out. Um, nice little hour and a half going back to the crib, Covina, California. Um, I'm gonna get in the pool, hang out a little bit, show you guys some beats. Um, yeah, man, go, go see a tour of the house, man. Sorry, right, go. This is the house, this man. This is man. This we is can actually go back here if you want. It's always been this house, bro. Uh, like I told you before, my, my grandparents ended up moving out of the only other house like out of my childhood bro so this is really uh what we got left and 
where the rest of the memories stay. But as you can see, dog, we got the, the basketball court out here. That's where we. Uh, that's where Gabe got to Arizona, right there. Basically, dog. Yeah, like his dad, knowing nothing about ball, bro, just. <laughs> We ended up putting cones in like a weird like it branch, like a, a, a and it was like, yo, you have to jump over it to make your layups. Like, that's how we're gonna start off, and it was just kind of a domino effect from there. We were just it hooping. Was, it was we were going just out hooping. there, seven, eight hours, mom, dad telling you, like having to grab you by the arm, come inside. That's how we did it back in the Let's day. Check out the lab, though. Come out here, man. About to come out to the, the basketball court, bro. That's where it all started. Literally, I was, what, four years old, came out here trying to dribble at first and then built the next half of it. Um, but yeah, man, this is our, this is how the sanctuary started. Outdoor basketballs and everything. this, man, even the yeah. baskets. People are still doing it on dirt. Right. Crazy man. Yeah. Crazy how how much it's changed too. You know what I'm saying? I still come out here, man. I still come out here and hoop, get in the pool, break a sweat, go jump in the pool for a little bit. This is where it is, man. This is every summer, come back home, try and get uh get around here as much as possible, man. You know, whether I'm staying uh, at my mom's crib or whatever, man. Um, you know, I always gotta find my, I always find my way back over here, bro. It's the, uh, it's, it's the best place to be. Just to relax, you have everything you need. You got the basketball court, you got the pool, you got the family, you know what I'm saying? The good food, we about to go eat, we about to grub out right now. Eric, you can let us know if the food is good, but yeah, man, it's a little, a little small tour, man. Yeah, man, I don't, I was, Look at how creepy that thing is, bro. I can't even talk about it no more. I don't, uh. I've probably been on this thing two or three times ever. It's yeah. never really uh, it's a hazard. been a it's thing. Like a, yeah, I've it's never. It's a thrill ride. <laughs> <laughs> Hop on at your own Hop risk, man. Own risk. Yeah, yeah I've, I've never been. Uh, uh, yeah, you about to cook? Nah, that's not for me, man. I'm not. I'm not the cook, bro. Hey, I'll tell you this: both athletes, man, it takes them to their pros to eat good. That's just. I don't know why. I did. I did enough of my cooking, bro, when I was in Germany. <laughs> I should have seen that Arizona, man. They would take them. And they would go to a fresh market, and he would, they would, the, the butcher would give them a, a fresh piece of salmon to take home, and he'd be like, I don't know what to do with this. I was like, Bro, what? Give this to me. He would, he'd go to Chick Fil A. So he would go to Arizona just to eat. Uh, yeah, I would go just to show him, bro. What? Yeah. So we're gonna I'm make a, some I'm mushrooms. A, I'm gonna stand with right here, and then uh, some salmon. <laughs> I'm gonna stand right here and make it seem like I'm doing something. <laughs> Yeah, man, so what's crazy is I actually had an opportunity overseas to go to Russia, um, and I got a call from my agent, and he let me know that's what was, was happening, and so, um, you know, we just, I asked him one last time, let's, let's make a call out and see, you know, what people are talking about. Orlando had, uh, didn't trade my rights from the, the D-League the year before, um, and yeah, they, they just said, you know, we, we understand what you're giving up, and we want to move forward with this, and, you know, uh, it's not what I want, like I said, but it is a start. It is something, you know, I can, I can get my foot in the door and start working towards and, and build off of. So um, it's just a, it's a great opportunity uh, to, you know, to get to the NBA and, you know, kind of show people what I can do and um, what I've been up to, you know, these last couple summers and, you know, how well I played overseas last year in Champions League and the BBL. Um, you know, average 16 in both leagues, got to an Elite Eight over in, in Germany too. So, you know, that's something I can always say that that team has never done. Um, so it's always about trying to build a legacy no matter where you are. Uh, basketball is, uh, you know, my job, whether it's the dream job I wanted, which was the NBA, or whether it's um, overseas, but it's something I've had to do. 
um, and, and uh, it, it's, it's been a, a blessing to be able to play basketball uh, for as long as I have. Um, and yeah, it's just about continuing to move forward and, and, and making uh, my dream come true, which is obviously still to play in the NBA. And uh, I know I'm good enough. Like I said, it's just a matter of opportunity. And you know, I finally got my foot in the door. So um, it's an exciting time, man. I'm, I'm excited. I leave on Tuesday um, to head out there. And um, yeah, just gotta, you know, gotta go prove myself once more, just like I had to um, when I started out high school and just like I had to when I started college. So it's just, it's nothing I'm not used to. So, you know, obviously in the morning we did our shooting, got all that soreness out. So right now we're going to focus on a lot of ball handling, a lot of layups, a lot of floaters, just all that skill work. So we try to balance our two workouts, try to work on different things for the day and for the night. One, two, yep. Nice. Butt down. Yeah. Board. Hit. One, two. Yep. Hit. One, two. Good. I would say, you know, don't ride that wave too high and don't ride it too low. Just, uh, um, you know, stay working, stay in the gym and, and understand that if it's not your time that next year as a freshman, your time may be coming. Like, don't don't quit on an opportunity um, when you haven't really gotten a chance to prove yourself because now people are looking at you in a different way. You know, I, I, I never wanted that. I didn't want someone to look at me and be like, oh, he quit. Like, nah, I, I wanted to, to go through it, and whether it was the harder route or, or not, you know, I stuck through it, and I'll always be able to tell myself I did that. I would just tell them, you know, just be patient, and if it's not your time, you don't need to leave and transfer and, you know, sit out a whole nother year, because that, that year you're sitting out at that next school could have been your year. Just stay, stay positive and always remember, you know, quitting is the easiest way, but that's not something you want to be known for. In the gym twice a day, trying to get lifts in every, Every day, maybe three, four times a week as well, bro. So, uh, summer's always meant for working, bro. That's what we came out here to do. The band didn't impress hard enough. Hard work, baby. What up? We out here at the Balls Life headquarters. About to check it out. Oh, man. Yo, this is crazy. We got the, the Balls Life All-American Games, man. These are the squads, the teams, bro. Back in the day, hey, what's, what's going to take it, though, if you guys have to say? Yeah, you know, we're going to be selfish here. We're going to go with the 2012 Balls Life All-American team, baby. Who's that in the middle right there? Yo, we got, we got K-Dot, Kendrick Lamar, you know. Only one out of any of these Balls Life games to have somebody like that, bro. Shout out, second annual, second annual uh, Balls Life game, man. Woo! Now this is what I'm talking about. Behind the scenes look. Ball is life. Where they be making all the merchandise for the backpacks, shirts, shorts, socks, everything, man. It's all right here. Like, if there was one, let's get it done. Here we got that rim tee. You feel me? We already got the got the three peat in there. You got the new Ball is life T-shirt right here. Ball is life shorts. Go copy some of these. These are these are these are big time. It's a good commodity right here, man. Joggers always got to have a pair of sweats, man. I don't care if it's 90 degrees. Oh, y'all killed it with this shit, bro. Y'all killed it with this shit. This the Western Conference hoodie. Mm-hmm. Ball is life. Man, I remember we had shirts. That's it. Like. Shirts and socks. That's how we started out, man. Got the Balls Life print. Oh, here we go. You know, I'm going to still show support. You know, Balls Life. Gotta get the red joints. Oh, I can't forget the most important part of this whole place. And look, it wouldn't be called Balls Life if we ain't have an actual hoop in here. This is where you get down, play horse. You know, anybody trying to try to lose some money. This is where we do it at, man. This is where we come out, hoop a little bit, take a couple shots. And there you have it. Gabe York, day in the life, ball is life. Shout out. <laughs> 